there's a lot of misunderstanding. I was trying to explain the, there's no ban on the and I was trying to tell them. So there's a lot of misunderstanding on that. Standing. Can we just have this for the record? There's absolutely no misunderstanding. There's a ban, there's discrimination, there's hypocrisy, and we request the world's media, please investigate. Look yourself. It's there. It's evident. This man, this gentleman who kindly came to talk to us, is the only representative who's done that. He even agreed, and we have it on record, that the discrimination that's happening in these monasteries and in society is wrong. And he said, and he promised, that he would check this. So please, the world media, just look, investigate. Is he going to fulfill his words? Please, that's all. Can you tell me what, uh, how long has that discrimination been happening? What and what are your organisation's uh, basis? It's been happening since 1996, but aggressively since January this year. Now Tibetans are forced to take an oath. The oath has two parts. The first part says that they themselves do not and will not practice the prayer of Dorje Shugden. The second part clearly states that they will not materially, spiritually, socially support anybody who does. Families are divided. I've seen it with my own eyes. School children are separated and expelled from their, from their communities. People cannot go shopping. They are not allowed to buy food if they do not have an identity card saying they do not practice Dorje Shugden. People cannot travel because they cannot get a visa. Why? They, to get a visa, they have to have an identity card. That is not human rights. That is worse than what they're accusing China of. You say you have, you have seen it with your yes, own eyes. Yes, I have. I've been there twice in the last month. I was requested on behalf of all of these Shugden practitioners to go and check if the allegations and the claims that were being made from the side of the victims were correct. I can 100% guarantee they are correct, but the world media needs to check. Has the UN or any other humanitarian society checked about this? No, because right now it's coming to light. Today is the first day that, because we had made a request and it had a deadline of the 22nd of April, India time. That time passed at 10 o'clock US time, which is exactly the time when our demonstration began. We sent a letter to the Dalai Lama over one week ago requesting him to pay attention to this and to address the problems that are happening, the discriminations that are happening right now. He did not reply. The letter was sent by recorded delivery, by fax and by email to him and to every single member of his parliament. Nobody even acknowledged receipt. How many people do you think are you? Millions. They're everywhere, every country. This is in the niche practice. He is sitting in that teaching hall, or has been, and giving teachings from the same lineage that he's destroying by stopping this practice. So he has never been exposed before? No, he's not. Why? Because people are frightened. Because the people in India, they, they, they face persecution if they expose him. We, we're not under him. We can expose, but we need the world's press to go and look. And what, what are you guys again? We're all members of the Western Shugden Society. We're individual practitioners. There's no leader. We're, we're under an umbrella organization, talking with one voice and trying to accomplish one result, and that's religious freedom. All the great masters who have worshipped this deity for the past 300 years, were they all wrong? They are wrong. Wrong? Yes. Wrong. That is all His Holiness says about the old masters. A band that shakes many Tibetan Buddhists at the core of their faith. In just one monastery in southern India, about a thousand monks refuse to comply with the Dalai Lama's decision. Anonymous threats are spread against anyone who refuses to obey his directives.
Whoever reveres Dorje Shukden must be targeted and firmly opposed. We must bring them before the public. They have to be killed. Among the targets are two young lamas. We will interrupt their lives and their activities. The disciplinary master of this monastery received the following letter during our visit. You will be dead in seven days' time. After expressing concern about the Dalai Lama's ban, this retired minister was attacked with a knife. He barely survived. The Tukten family was literally chased out of their residential area. About a hundred people attacked us. Had we gone out of our house, they definitely would have killed us. Fanatical followers of the Dalai Lama tried to burn down this family's house. They successfully forced these people who revere the deity now banned by the Dalai Lama to flee. They lost everything. This family are pariahs of the Tibetan community in India. They broke into our house and destroyed everything. They smashed the china, demolished the TV with stones, wrecked the fridge, all the windows. They destroyed everything. My husband worked 35 years for all this. 